morning everybody so today is the third day of the month of Tammuz which is the yard site of Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson who was the last rabbi of the Lubavitcher Hasidim <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me and I just wanted to talk a little bit about who this man was uh, his greatness that's been overshadowed by the legend that was created around him because he had tremendous greatness to him and so many people are reluctant to recognize that as perhaps I am because of the situation <coughs> of those who call themselves his followers his chassidim how they've created this larger than life uh, persona around this man uh, engaged in revisionist history and so forth uh, but I think he should be revered as much as any other chassidish Rebbe but I don't think he should be revered more than other Hasidic Rebbes. And one thing that should be remembered is that he was a, only a Rebbe and not a Rav. Meaning, uh, from our communities, our Rebbes, for the most part, a lot of them, most of them, again, not all of them, were also Rabbonim. Meaning, they're not only a Rebbe, but also a Rav. But then you have uh, certain people they're only a Rebbe, and that was Lubavitcher Rebbe, he was a Rebbe, not a Rav uh, not a Rosh Yeshiva also, a lot of our Rebbe's were Rosh Yeshiva he was not a Rosh Yeshiva he was not a Rosh Yeshiva, not a Rav, not a Dayan he was a Rebbe and he took that position of Rebbe in a unique way uh, he was a pious Jew and he should be respected as that. And he did accomplish tremendous things, as we all know. And also he was a, a great role model for what he was. The only thing is we shouldn't turn him into something that he wasn't. It's enough what he was without what he wasn't. This morning, I, someone sent out on WhatsApp a little clip. It was a little girl... Um, her parents brought her to get dollars from Lubavitch Rebbe and she said Rebbe mi Lubavitch I love you <laughs> and the Rebbe gave her a dollar and then he gave her another dollar he said this is for your love and so we could all love the Lubavitch Rebbe without uh, losing our minds and, and falling into the cult mentality that a lot of people have about him we could still love him just like we love all the tzaddik. Uh and even though there, there were a lot of issues even with him personally and certainly with his followers that doesn't diminish the greatness that he has you know we have to in this day and age we have to recognize our heroes don't have to be perfect and I think that's a message that has to be reiterated reiterated right now as statues of great men are being taken down and when it's done legally it's done legally and uh, I can disagree with it but I can see alright at least it's being done legally and when it's not being done legally it's it's a crime and people should be per prosecuted for these crimes you know I mean I think it's a, a as much as I had problems with Teddy Roosevelt uh, as he was a progressive and he had a lot of things that I might have disagreed with that he did he was a great hero to so many Americans uh, he was the most popular president probably in history and now he's being cancelled I, it, 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 I understand it's being done in a legal manner but I was always excited to see the statue of Teddy Roosevelt by the Museum of Natural History. What other things are inside that museum are going to be canceled? 
because of, because of giving into the mob mentality. But that's not the point we're bringing up here. So I want to share a few stories I heard from Baba Rebbe that I think um, demonstrate his greatness of who he was instead of focusing on what he wasn't or perhaps some certain problems and things. So there was a Yid Reb Chaim Daskal. I believe that that's what the story was about. They call him Reb Chaim from Yerushalayim. He was a, a, a nephew, I believe, of, of the Sklena Rebbe's Chaim of Rochus By the way, the old Sklena Rebbe, when he lived in Crown Heights, they would give him Shlishi on, uh, uh, you know, when, 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 on a weekday minion by the Rebbe's minion, by the Lubavitch Rebbe's minion. He's the only other person ever gets Shlishi by uh, on Monday or Thursday. He would dive in there and and now, you know, the, the cultist Lubavitchers, they, they don't know who Sklenner Rebbe was. They don't know even the, the previous Sklenner Rebbe who we used to go to all the time. I I, I had Bochrim who were learning in, in Morristown and got kicked out of the yeshiva because they went Shabbos to Tish by Sklenner Rebbe and they were told, oh, you're, you're being unfaithful you're going to another Rebbe. When the, when, when the Sklenner Rebbe was the closest friend of Lubavitch Rebbe, the old Sklenner Rebbe. So, this is what I mean by the cult mentality. And that type of thing is, is horrible. They, they kick the Bukram out of the yeshiva. Well, it's better. They should go to a more normal yeshiva. They should go somewhere like, or Sameach or something like that and, and, and get something more authentic. <clears throat> and, and grounded but uh, with that being said uh, sometimes the, there's no choice but to go to Lubavitch and then the, they should kick Bakram out because they're going to, to, to a tish from another Rebbe I never heard of such a thing uh, you know even even other Hasidim who are very devoted to their Rebbe's like uh, Karl and Stalin and Square they'll still go visit other Rebbe's so I uh, I don't I don't understand what this is all about, and, and you know, and Sklen is not like a Hasidus where you're, you're having Hasidim, you know, where they're going to steal you away from Lubavitch if you go to Sklen or Rebbe. So I, uh, but I'm, I want to, I want to be positive now. So anyway, we're Chaim Daskal, Zechren of Rochas Gavena Er Lachid of and he went once to Lubavitch Rebbe for a bracha. Um. That uh, he should, um, uh, he wants to be matzliach and kiruv. He wants to be successful in outreach. And the word kiruv really means to bring people close. And Baba Rebbe said, "No, no, that's not that's not what we do here. We're not into kiruv. Everyone thinks talks about kiruv. They think Lubavitch, uh, Bali Chuva, They think Lubavitch. He said kiruv." Supposes that some people are far away and some people are close, and you're, and you're the one who's close, and the other person's far away, and you're bringing them close. You don't know who's close or far away. Let's just do the mitzvah of Yehavtolayecha Kamocha, of love thy neighbor as thyself, and uh, and and I give you a bracha. You should fulfill the mitzvah of of Ahavas Yisrael, of love thy neighbor. That's a very important message there. Uh, the other story I wanted to share, which, you know, one of the interesting things about Lubavitch Rebbe was how he, you know, he, he didn't conduct himself in the manner of, of other Hasidic Rebbe's, well known, and there are many stories about that. So, one thing that I was very impressed by that I read this year. Um, was how he would always have the Pesach Seder pretty much all alone, either, you know, just with his rabbits in, and, and after he, he was an almond, after he was a widower, he sat all by himself by the Pesach Seder. And obviously he could do like all, pretty much all the other rabbis do, is uh, have a Seder with with guests, with, with the Bachrim, and make it in 770 with all the Bachrim, Something like or all the chasanim or something like that, like like is done by the other chasinim, and he didn't do that, and the beauty of that is to say that you know, pretty much, 
anybody who has to have the Seder all by themselves is essentially a guest of the Lubavitcher Rebbe because they can tell themselves and especially now this year where so many people had the Seder all by themselves um, they can say well um, you know I, I'm in the same boat with Lubavitcher Rebbe and that is a tremendous tremendous thing Saibish is a helfin. We we should recognize that we're not alone. We have God. We you know this yard site is twenty six yard site that is Mr. Shema Vaya. And we and and I believe all the tzaddikim are davening for us, especially such a difficult time in history. Um, I'm very upset about what's going on in the world, and it's affecting me emotionally, personally. Um, we should see. This um, that we we the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel, Rabbi Levi Yitzchok should be Meilas Yosher. As we sign a Gitabeta, he should uh, pray on our behalf, pray before the Almighty, um, that there should be healing in this country and things should turn around and there should be peace in the world. Zechusi Yigin Lein Malkalis Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. We'll see you later.